So I'm going to make this uh, scenario more realistic in terms of what's going to happen if you have a successful connection. We see that I have these, these large alligator clips. They're very, very powerful. The teeth are jagged. When you hook the wires or the igniter onto this, it's got a very, very good grip. You see we've got this nice grip on this igniter. Uh, you're going to get a very, very good connection. Uh, so assuming I've gone to the rocket, put the igniter on and made the connection, I'm going to come back, turn the power on. And in this case, from the previous situation, the breaker had cut everything off. So I need to start the controller by pressing the breaker reset. So now you can see that the breaker light is blue, indicating that it is pulled in. Continuity is green, indicating that we do have continuity through this igniter. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. So again, we get the tone indicating that we do have a continuity. Now what's interesting is that this tone will only last as long as there's igniter continuity. So once the igniter burns, the tone goes away. So let me show you how this works. I'm just going to go, go ahead and press the launch button. And that went extremely fast. The reason is that I have a 12 volt battery in here, which is extremely powerful. The igniter doesn't just light and burn. It basically vaporizes into a little ball of fire. If you look at the head in slow motion, this has got a lot of power inside of it. But you see what's happened now is that this indicates that it's still armed because the red light is on. However, there's no tone indicating that continuity uh, for the arming circuit is now gone because the igniter is burned. And we see that the green light uh, is currently off, indicating that there's no continuity as far as the wiring goes. So now I can go ahead, turn this off, and wait for the next launch.